So in earlier session, we have seen in the statistics uh, data viewer where the output can be exported into document file. In this session, we'll be seeing on importing the data in the Excel and start working on it. Instead of directly typing the variable, creating the variable name, we can import the data, which it could be in any file format while we are uh, sending the Google forms or getting the questionnaire data has to be collected and typed in excel or in any file format and we can import those file format and we can start working directly in SPS. so in this case you go to file right in the menu go to file and go to import data in this case you find that data format could be anything it could be excel or it could be csv comma separated value it could be text data it could be sas data file this data dbase lotus skylar right mostly the lotus dbase sas data or the earlier versions before SPS 16 mostly uh, the lotus form of data was there right lotus one two three which is same similar to the excel the predecessor of excel now once we are more uh have these data files mostly data types are supported and sup we, suppose i want the excel uh data file to be open so i click excel right and i have in the desktop i have data set one i'll just open that which is in excel and when I open it, it gives you a dialog box read excel file. It will give you a read excel file. So this is a data set for a retail store. Okay. Where an employee is there and an employee is there in a particular region. In the Chennai region, we have the four regions and the cost of the product that they charge in the particular retail store in a particular region and the sales of that particular product has been done. So this is a data with related to a retail store and uh, collecting data from a particular employee. So in this, you have the worksheet. In the worksheet, I will just show the worksheet right to you. So this is your source data file right so where i have the employees the gender region and cost and sales so this is just random data that we have taken and data that we have collected from the retail store department and we have a lot of em employees over here total amount 104 employees and we have male female and region south north and what is the cost of the product that they charge and what is the sales they do for the product so this is the source data set this can be imported into your x into your sps so we'll be importing the uh data the excel data go to file import data in excel and i'll be selecting the file called data set one which is in excel format xls and open so it shows an error why because the file is open so ensure that you close the file so just close the excel file over here close the excel file right and i will just import it so if you go start uh, have the uh, excel file open it will not work so come to import then excel then data set one then open so in this case it shows you the read excel file dialog box in this shows the worksheet uh, worksheet the cell is selected from the range from a1 to e105 ensure that you you select it right and next thing it shows that read variable names from the first row of data so first row of data is your variable name. ensure that you have you have to select uh, the checkbox as right then it is defaultly selected and you start clicking it okay so when you click it at okay you find that the data will start import so once the stat data is start imported you find that it has been listed right then you go to the variable view you go to the uh, variable view so when you go to the variable view you find that the scales has been automatically assigned the measures has been automatically assigned you have the employees scale gender which is a nominal data region is a nominal data which is a categorical data cost which is in value sales is in values it is automatically the measure has been put now here we have to specify the values we have to do, do the coding for the categorical data so in this case the male we have the south region and north region in this case we'll be doing the coding for that so come to the value column and select the gender so in this case you see what type of genders we have there may be a situation where the respondent the, uh, the researcher may be asking more data right maybe the third category may be a transgender or none it could be anything right so depending upon the uh, values input that the researcher want right it's up to the researcher so in this case i take only male and female select it and click that you have the value labels dialog box will open and one i gave for the male so when i type male you find that the add button is activated click add then two then for female then add and press okay. so it will just automatically get coded you just go to data and you find it will, it will just automatically get coded in this case you click here you find that it is not working why so in this case you have to see what is the part we are doing here or once again you find that in the type it is given as string hence it is not changing into numbers right if you click here you find that it is not changing into numbers because uh the type that we have given to gender is string so and hence we cannot do any statistical analysis on the string data so we have to change the type of the data for gender to numeric we change that to numeric numeric and okay right so it says some values labels are missing specific should discarded or for gender okay just press okay now go to data view you find the values are missing because we have to enter the values one two and three right? and similar way for region also you can change the region as the numeric data changes to numeric data right and in this case it is also gone now you have to just 
type the coding one by one and you start doing this so it becomes a tedious one instead of that you can directly do a coding in excel itself and you start importing it so i'll be just doing the coding for the each of the regions for for we have the east region west region south and north so i'll be starting doing the coding for each region and we'll be working on that so directly we find that in data we find that the variables are not listed it is in remaining blank so when we convert this into numeric you find that that is in uh plank over so it is better that you can do the coding in excel and you bring that value into it. so it is up to you to do how you work if mostly it's a tedious job but it's very easy right you can directly go to excel the source file and you can directly do the coding for this right so in this case i press ctrl h you find a find and replace dialog box will open in this case i want to change the gender right so gender for male i just find what type male and type one so replace it with one so i just replace it with one so the male data is changed into one and you find the female because f e m a l m a l is changed to one so in this case female i'll just change it to f e one f e f e one and i replace it with two two then replace all so replace replacement is done for the data right so male is one and female is and in the excel itself you can do the coding for the region also so south north west east whatever the coding you do you will do the coding so go to the data first you do the coding here we change the coding here right go to this one and come to region we put the value for one has say one has south right then two has north north then add then three for the west west then add then four value i give for east right now these are the four variables now then click ok so now we have coded the region also right with uh, one value given to south 2 for north, 3 for west and 4 for east. Now we can go to this one. So you find that we require only the values. The values can be directly copied and pasted into this. You find it will, it will be there, right? So go to Excel. I have replaced it. So here we have to replace the region also. So what is the coding that we have done here also? The same thing has to be done here. Also. So here you find that the coding that we have given for the one for south, right? A similar thing that we have to give in the Excel also. One for south. 2 for north and 3 for west and 4 for in case we go for the coding part 1 is 1 for so find what you type here the south so 1 for south replace all it will get replaced and you have the north n o r t h and replace it with this coding giving the coding for and west i give the coding as 3 for west place all then go for east east and i give east as 4 then replace all so you find the replacement is done for the gender and the region so you can directly copy the very values from this to this right so we have one not four data and this i just copy it and i go to the excel right sorry go to excel not spss we go to spss right and go to the data view and in the gender i click here and i right click and i so you find that the values is automatically done has been coded male female right similar way i can go for the excel once again and i copy the region copy the region uh shift control down arrow key right and right click and copy go to spss and in the region right click right click paste so you find that the data has been there right so you find that is there any missing values over here you find there is no missing value sort of over here so this is the easiest way of importing the excel uh, data and start uh, recording it so this is very very important because re recording is very very important and that has to be kept kept in the mind.